This is the start of the Hajj series whereby we prepare for Hajj and we're going to concentrate on mental fatigue and physical exhaustion. Wa alaikum salam. We know that in the upcoming weeks the pilgrims will be preparing for Hajj and this journey can be very strenuous in terms of physical, emotional exertion but there's exertion that takes place long before that and that's the preparation period getting all the resources together, planning ahead, getting all the luggage etc. And this presents a certain amount of burden on the body. But the hujjaj should be reminded that the best resource that they have would be their health. Because one's level of health influences our ability to fulfill our religious obligations as well as all that preparation is needed for the hajj. So there are many aspects to consider when preparing for hajj. It's the financial aspect, the family, traveling, guests, and all of this can lead to mental fatigue and physical exhaustion. And when this happens, it decreases our immunity. So it increases our vulnerabilities, our susceptibility to anxiety types of state. It can decrease our mental faculties in that we find it difficult to concentrate. Our memories can become weak, leads to headaches, it could be loss of appetite, mood swings, etc. Some recommendations to overcome fatigue, some self-help techniques. Definitely look towards the diet. Generally, a well-balanced diet can assist when it comes to dealing with fatigue. Look towards fresh fruit and veg daily. Include nuts, seeds, whole grains, which alone can replace lost energies because we know that mineral and vitamin deficiencies contribute to fatigue. Try to consume plenty of water. Adopt a good hydration habit before traveling because we know the, the climate in Makkah is extremely hot and dry. Consume enough fiber to ensure good bowel movements. Avoid excess intake of processed sugar, fizzy drinks, caffeine and highly processed food. All these foods deplete the body's magnesium stores which worsen the state of fatigue. Some practical advice, try to get plenty of rest. Adopt a good time management program. So begin the day with a, with a to-do list so that you can plan well and allocate time periods to certain tasks which will help you to deal with your deadlines and commitments that you have during the day much easier. Try to get enough rest. So an afternoon nap is beneficial. Try to get to bed early because we know that sleep deprivation leads to a vicious cycle of ongoing fatigue. Moderate exercise is also very beneficial. Brisk walking for about 10 minutes a day in nature does wonders to alleviate any tension, any stress. Yo, Muslim. Mate.